Today in History. It's May 29th, and we're going to continue with our journey to the past. We sure are. We have a couple of events to share with our listeners, but first, here is my quiz question. The tallest mountain. <coughs> Pardon me. The tallest mountain in the world, located in the Himalayan mountain range, is number one, Everest, or number two, Ernest. One more time. The tallest mountain in the world, located in the Himalayan mountain range, is number one, Everest, or number two, Ernest. If you know the answer right now, you can put it on our Bundy board or text in pounder sharp 1045 for 51 to win an eco bag and mug cup. Mm. And I'm sure uh, many like historic moments uh, have happened on this very day, May 29th in this history, but we're going to focus on two items, and here they are. Today in history. In 1942, the biggest selling record of all time was recorded, and in 1953, the summit of Everest was conquered for the first time. 1942년 5월 29일에는요, 세계에서 가장 많이 팔린 음반으로 기록되는 바로 이 곡이 녹음된 날이기도 합니다. 그리고 하면은 1953년 5월 29일에는 최초로 에베레스트 산이 정복된 날이기도 합니다. So today we have two uh, historic records to talk about from the past that marked not only a milestone in their respective fields, but also the beginning of many other events to follow. And the first record happened in 1942. Yes, it was the recording of the best and biggest selling record of all time. Was it Michael Jackson, you might wonder? Nope. Madonna? Nope. Actually, not even the Beatles. Huh. It was quite unexpectedly uh, and a little out of season, actually. You might say... White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Interesting. 50 million copies okay. sold according to the Guinness Book of World Records. 네. 자, 기네스 북에 따르면 이 화이트 크리스마스라는 이 곡은요. 전 세계적으로 5천만 장 이상이 팔렸다고 합니다. And what's even more impressive is that White Christmas still holds that record today. Well, on the second spot of this list is Elton John's 1997 Candle in the Wind with 33 million copies sold in case you were wondering. 참 인상적인 건요. 이 화이트 크리스마스라는 노래, 노래가 아직까지도 가장 많이 팔린 그런 어, 노래로 기록을 가지고 있고요. 두 번째 자리는 바로 엘튼 존의 노래 Candle in the Wind가 차지하고 있습니다. So, doesn't ring a bell? Well, I'm sure this audio clip will help. <목소리> So this is I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas right. song by The Drifters. Mm. And we're showing that very familiar picture on Poinen Radio. Uh, and that's from the movie Home Alone. Ah! 하는 장면이 있죠. 마이클리 컬킨이 그 저기 스킨 로션을 얼굴에 바르고 아! 하는 장면. So when this boy Kevin is singing along this very tune while applying his father's aftershave on his face while well, resulted in the most memorable scene probably from the movie. That's the, that's the uh, screen capture there on <laughs> Point and Radio right now. All right. Well, now uh, Crosby's version ranks number two in the list of songs of the century of the Recording Industry Association of America or the RIAA. Second only to Judy Garland somewhere over the rainbow. Ah, uh, 그렇군요. 네, 자, uh, 이제, now let's move on to our next item, shall we? Uh, which is something that happened on this very day on, in 1953, when another milestone moment happened, uh, and that was the conquering of Mount Everest summit for the first time. A feat achieved by New Zealand mountaineer and explorer Sir Edmund Hillary and uh, Nepalese Sherpa 
그 슬파라고 하게 되죠. 텐징 노게. Attempts to reach the summit were happening since the 1920s, but nobody was successful. 아, 그렇군요. 시도는 여러 차례 그 전에도 있었습니다만 성공한 사람이 없었다고 하는군요. Moreover, the route to Everest was closed by Chinese-controlled Tibet, and Nepal only allowed one expedition per year. But at 11.30 a.m. Uh, of May, 9, uh, May 29th, these two men achieved the impossible. They spent only 15 minutes at the summit when Hillary took the famous photo of Tenzing holding his ice axe. And there's the photo there. Uh, Pretty impressive, huh? 그렇죠. Really cool. Well, following the ascent, <coughs> pardon oh. me, following the ascent of Everest, Hillary devoted much of his life to helping the Sherpa people of Nepal mm. through the Himalayan trust founded by Hillary himself. Oh, great thing you did. Mm. 그렇죠. 그 이분들이 이제 그 정상을 정복하기까지 사실 셀파의 도움이 없었다면 얼마나 더 힘들었을까요? 이제 이분들을 잊지 않기 위해서 돕는 그런 손길도 어, 많이 또 이렇게 있었다고 합니다. That's amazing. No, oh, really cool. All right. So before we finish things up, uh, the The answer to the quiz question that I gave you a few minutes ago, mm. the tallest mountain in the world located in the Himalayan mountain range is number one, Everest. Okay, and that's all we have for today in history, but we'll be back tomorrow with more from the past. And Daniel's up in just a sec for today's Cine Premieres. First, Diana Ross and the Supremes ain't no mountain high enough.